Welcome everybody, it's Telman. In this video, we are going to be talking about DLC4 because today we just got the trailer for it. We got the name of the map, a release date, and a small short teaser trailer. We're going to be breaking it down and talking about absolutely everything we can, but right away, the map is going to be coming out in exactly a week from now, so the 12th, so just uh, pretty much next Tuesday, so of course today's Tuesday, so se seven days from now. Anyways, we know the name of the map is called Beats from Beyond, and anyways, I want to actually get into the short teaser trailer. I'm going to just be talking about a little things I noticed real quick, but I'm not going to be playing for you guys because I don't want to get hit with the copyright but anyways let's actually start this thing so right here at the start we see this area and looks pretty interesting it kind of looks like a campaign mission area I think that they're going to be doing that a lot inside this one actually I'm pretty happy with that because the, the campaign looks absolutely amazing and for them to actually start doing this it's just so cool anyways back to looking at what's here we do see on see Neil's face the robot from zombies in space line so I'm not exactly sure why he's here maybe it, it was just like an easter egg to put all the way back in zombies in space line where he really belongs over here so i don't know but it looks like he is also going to be returning which is interesting we do see a magic wheel and i'm pretty sure that's it for this area i know we do see a door leading to another area but this is nothing really but then there's this other scene so this is pretty interesting so we just see us looking outside of this window so apparently i was wrong because i thought it was going to take place solely on some spaceship but it looks like we may be able to go outside and i'm thinking that we're going to be on some other planet's moon that's what it looks like here we might be on one of our own planet's moon because if you guys remember in the campaign that you went to like i think try and all those different moons inside our own solar system so we might be doing that again but another thing i want to point out is that you can actually see at the bottom of this window i'll probably just have it zoomed up for you but you can actually see the cryptids language or i should say the ancestors language on the bottom so that's pretty interesting i don't exactly know how to like read it or anything or even translate it but i don't know i decided it was worth pointing out now what's interesting here we see this open area and the why i think it's pretty interesting because all the way in the background you can see the astronaut suits and i'll explain why i think that they might be important in just a second when we see our characters but anyway just keep that in mind but the area is just looking like a pretty darkish looking area then of course we get the name of the map and everything and just looks pretty cool actually i don't know <laughs> and i'm liking the vibe and how everything's looking this map compared to a lot of the other ones when i first had their first impressions but anyways this one's looking pretty darn cool so far after that we see our characters but we could see that they're not wearing any space suits or anything and this is why I pointed out the space suits, pla space suits pla looking place a while ago. So I'm thinking it's going to be similar to Moon, where you have to actually pick up your space suit and put it on. So that's what I'm thinking is how it's ex exactly going to work. So that's why I decided to point out that thing earlier. Then we get a cl close up of Neil's face and he's making angry faces. Now this next area right here, I don't. It's the same area where the space suits were, but for some reason these doors close and just lights on fire. It doesn't look like there's a rocket or anything. So I'm confused where that flames, all those flames are coming from. It's pretty pretty interesting it looks like a rocket launch but i just don't know maybe it's just a grenade close and uh, blowing up with the when the doors closed just coincidental but i don't know it looks interesting nonetheless after that we get some clips of the zombies nothing real special though but then we get to see that we're going to get the vape the eraser from multiplayer is actually going to make its way into zombies so that's also interesting to see i don't know how effective it is going to be against zombies because it looks like it's a single target kill but I don't know what to think, but after this, we actually see a pretty open area in this map. It's kind of crazy to see how open this area is compared to the rest of what we've seen. Now, I'm kind of wondering how big this map is going to be because there's also the possibility that we could leave this spaceship. So we're going to have to see how it all turns out. It looks pretty interesting nonetheless. I just can't wait to see the size of this map because it looks pretty big. Also, you can see this person down over there. So... I guess that was worth mentioning. We see this laser trap right here. I don't know. I don't really use traps in these games. I don't know why. I know a lot of people do, but that's a trap right there. I don't think there's anything special. Now, there's something inside this area I want to come back to because you do hear someone talking. Now, keep in mind at the start of this trailer, and I'm not playing audio, but I'll play audio for this part because I want to come back to it. But keep in mind at the start of this, I'm sure you guys have watched it already, but you hear some guy talking and we're just, he says petty officer, whoever, and then all of that stuff just saying that that's not how we wanted to become whatever he said he became. And I I don't think that's important, but I'm thinking that is a character the guy, the Nikolai voice actor, is actually going to be playing because a lot of people started saying was this one, but this one I'll come back to in a little bit because I want to save this one to the end just because I have to play some audio. But, anyways, it just looks like this weird area and goes underground, and you can, can actually see it goes even deeper, but it goes into one of these cutoffs or I don't know how paths that lead away from it. So it's pretty interesting. We just have those green lights there. And if somebody says those are the green vials, I'm I'm not going to be happy with you. I will not be happy with you. And it ends off 
off showing us and I'm not sure exactly but I think that looks like a rhino dude it's a rhino from extinction so we do know cryptids are returning now I know there's people who were going to mention my other video how I said that they might not be returning but remember I said they might not but it looks like they actually are also keep in mind that this night may not be a continuation to the extinction story but more like just like prequel to the extinction story that's also what it may be that's what I heard from people that they said but anyways regardless we do see that a rhino is going to be there it might be just be a regular extinction cryptid but I don't know it looks like a rhino to me but anyways there's one last thing I want to show you guys and I think by far this is the most interesting one this is what I really want to get to so if I rush to the other parts I really do apologize but anyways I'll play this clip for you guys because I want you guys to hear the audio here it's a wonderful option for you it's the right thing to do. So we hear in that clip that it's there's somebody talking through a seemingly a microphone or something into the map and it says death is the right thing for you to do of course something along these lines I'm not going a word for word but it's super interesting and a lot of people are questioning who this is because a lot of people were saying that was going to be who the Nikolai voice actor was going to be voice acting but to me it sounds more like Willard Wyler maybe just a distorted voice of Willard Wyler but then again it could also be the Nikolai voice actor and the other voice actor at the start is just some not significant person so that's why he doesn't have a full-blown voice actor but i don't know nonetheless it is pretty interesting i'm thinking it's willard wyler because it just sounds like something Will willard wyler would say and the only other person i would imagine saying that is maybe mephistopheles and i don't know if he's actually going to be in this map or not it feels weird because we're going to be going out of space to really the sci-fi area but then to bring a supernatural character it just would feel awkward for me but anyways tell me what you guys think about this little short trailer i know there's a lot of stuff in it and wasn't as long as we'd hope it be but regardless it's really cool and nonetheless but tell me what you guys think about it you guys hype for this thing because i cannot wait to see who that person is i'm thinking it's willard i can't wait to see the cryptids i wonder if the cryptids are going to be a special round or what exactly are they going to be because we know the zombies are going to be there for darn sure but for some reason there's going to be cryptids of, well i shouldn't say for some reason but we just also have the cryptids and i'm not too sure how they're going to work are they going to come with the zombies when you get to high enough rounds or how exactly are they work anyways you guys have opinions on that i would love to hear them down in the comments and whoever guesses it right that'd just be cool you guys could say you call it and everything but anyways that's about it for this video if you guys did enjoy this video go ahead and thumbs up and if you guys want to stay tuned for content similar to this go ahead and subscribe but i'm going to go and i'll catch you guys on my next video